This is K Critiques. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of K Critiques where we discuss all things South African television. Now, let us discuss Youngin Season 1, Episode 16 to 18. Now guys, these episodes were so hectic, so let us get into it. So in the previous episodes, we saw Wuxie seeing the principal actually touching this other girlie star. We soon find out that her name is Lerato. They are now at assembly and he's literally literally staring at this girl ogling her in front of the whole school at assembly and he's not even trying to be subtle about it which is disgusting so the new amu actually is like okay we want to expose the principal but we need to get proof because last time Zinte didn't give us any proof and Bushe is like I'll speak to Lerato she goes to speak to Lerato and is like do you know what grooming is and what the principal is doing is not right we see that there was a gift bag in her room so I'm thinking that the principal did get that for her and she was taken by it Lerato doesn't want to hear it but she eventually comes around and she's like the principal said he wants to see me after school and they plan to record him now amo upon hearing this she's like yes we finally got the principal she is on cloud nine like finally we're gonna expose this guy utumelo the more time goes he wants to back out and he's like oh, guys i'm not so sure about this whole exposing the principal thing but his morality also won't let him keep quiet because he's like if the principal is doing something wrong in the school then we, he needs to be exposed and if we have to be the ones to expose him then so be it ukaya on the other hand he has a sense of loyalty to the principal and i feel like it's because this guy's the only one who's ever shown him any affection love he's almost like a father figure he's literally the opposite of what his father is but he's like no guys i want to attend the next meeting and i'm loyal to you guys and i'm like you just want to spy on these people like it was so obvious to me that his loyalty is more towards the principal than these ones because this whole time even with two people telling you that they've witnessed disgusting behavior they've witnessed suspicious behavior you still don't believe that the principal is sleeping with school kids and you're saying ah Bushe, you didn't see right he wasn't touching that girl's thigh really already there's been accusations against him and then now you're finding even more proof so then he gets sent to the principal's office and he hears the principal calling his girlfriend apparently the principal is dating miss pearl now this information is gonna come back later we find out that he has a girlfriend and stuff and what does kaya do i don't know why he felt guilty and it's like we were gonna get proof he couldn't even wait until lerato came back with the recording in order to tell the principal about this thing he goes and is like no i just feel bad and there's rumors going around and they want to expose you like kaya kaya are you serious right now obviously now the principal already knows that there's a plot against him so obviously he's gonna lie low and stay undercover when Lerato comes back she's like you guys made a fool out of me i just knew i just knew that everything you guys were saying was lies and when they listen to the recording everything sounds innocent and the principal is like no you're one of my students and i care about all my students don't misconstrue my kindness and take it as me wanting anything more than you i'm your principal and you're my student all because of ukaya and then he only feels guilty afterwards he feels guilty after doing it and then he's still attending meetings where they're coming up with plans knowing very well that he's already snitched so when they listen to the recording now he actually is happy he's like yeah the principal he's a good guy i was telling you maybe mr ramatuba was right like you cannot be this dumb like you honestly cannot be this time there's a plan to expose the principal they're gonna get proof the principal wants to see the girl that he was busy touching in his office after school and then as soon as you tell him about this information he changes the plan to see the girl during second break and then in the recording he's all of a sudden being so diplomatic how 
does it not click in your head that this is only happening because you are the one who told the principal everything but anyways the principal then gets away and buys him soccer shoes to buy his silence and when Sefako asks him like where did you get these shoes he lies and says his dad bought them why lie about who bought you the shoes if you're not feeling guilty and if, if you know that there's nothing wrong with him buying you the shoes after all of this Amo goes to tell Miss Pearl everything she's like guys now I'm going to tell Miss Pearl she goes and Miss Pearl is like tell me every single thing you know do you have proof asking for information not knowing that Miss Pearl is the principal's girlfriend Utumelo he's struggling with some schoolwork and he asks Sefako for some help some teaching Sefako is actually not sure like um, I don't want to be tutoring you people might talk and I'm like what does studying have to do with being gay what's the correlation between studying and being study buddies or tutoring somebody as a head boy and you being gay but then in the end he was also like yeah but i'm gonna help you study either way but we have to do it low key because i don't want my boyfriend to be failing in school so he actually confirms that they are boyfriends he makes it official and dumelo was very happy about that they're busy writing an english test and Udumelo, instead of studying he actually pulls out Sefako's answers and cheats on the test. So then he gets caught and Miss Pearl is like, did Amo make you do this? And I'm like, how can Amo make another person cheat? Like, where's the correlation? So the whole gang, Masati, Kaya, Buhle, Dumelo and Amo are called into the principal's office. Mrs. Pearl is like, I don't believe it. And obviously it's on the principal's side because it is her boyfriend after all. And there was no solid proof. And then all of them are now in trouble because he's like, I could sue you guys. This is defamation of character. Why are you doing this? And he the principal is so manipulative i cannot believe this i literally can see what he's trying to do he's like oh, i know you're hurt i mean your past father killing your mother it must have affected you so i know but i can't have you painting me as a bad person he knows exactly what he's doing it's divide and conquer but most importantly than that he's trying to shame her and trying to use that as an excuse for almost getting caught that was disgusting and then calls the aunt for a parents meeting and then he tells the aunt the first time i saw amu she was at the club drinking this guy is so manipulative he's literally using amu's secrets or amu's weaknesses against her so now we are at the end obviously the gang gets detention and stuff like that and they are all pissed they are all pissed that amu especially Bushe, because Bushe is like you lied to me you sleep in the same room as me i've told you about my parents i've told you about my parents trauma i've told you about my home life and you lied you lied and you said oh my parents are perfect and you made me feel like crap about my life meanwhile you were hiding this and she's like i i trusted you i've been your friend i've been supporting you maybe i didn't even see clearly you trying to get us into some crap because before you even came here before we met you our lives were fine and so that's how it ends everybody just leaves her and abandons her even my Sati. and my Sati had wanted to take her out on the date that's how episode 18 ended and yeah guys please do let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below i just feel like this whole thing is crazy like i need them to find out that kaya is the one who warned the principal about their plan because now everybody's pinning it on amu as if amu's crazy and that she lied about the principal whereas she's telling the truth and butya saw it with her own two eyes the principal needs to be caught and i actually thought this was going to be the season finale but it's not there's actually more episodes that are going to come out so i can't wait to see how that is going to go but yeah guys that was young in season one episode 16 to 18 and i'll see you guys in the next video